Good morning all. Now we'll move to the next method of estimation of the ultimate pile load capacity. We have discussed the static method and now we'll try to discuss the dynamic formula. Now in the dynamic formula is nothing but an energy balance equation. In this method you have the pile foundation onto which a hammer is acted upon by impulse force by drops of the hammer. Now the drops of the hammer will be resisted by the pile. Resistance is assumed to be a function of the soil's resistance which means if you are installing the pile in a clay soil with low shear strength the hammer will not have to take much of an energy transfer to pile to drive the pile down. Had it been a stronger soil the soil would resist the pile moving into its body or the hammer will have to apply a huge higher load or a higher energy will have to be transferred. That is the core idea behind the dynamic formula. So in short, the dynamic formula relates the energy delivered by the pile hammer to the energy absorbed during the pile penetration, represented in a rudimentary form as Rs is equal to Wh eta or R equal to Wh eta by S where R is a pile resistance assumed to be related directly to the ultimate static pile capacity QU. In short, R in this equation represents the QU in the previous equation at least analogous. Now if eta is the efficiency of the hammer system W is the weight of the ram or the hammer. H is the ram stroke or the height of drop. S is a pile set or the permanent pile displacement per blow of the hammer. So just think about this. You have the pile kept on the soil. You are dropping the hammer from a height which we call as a ram stroke H and the weight of the, weight of the hammer is W. And the efficiency of the hammer system is eta. Let's say 0.6 means that it's 60% energy is transferred. The efficiency is 60 percentage. And S is a pile set or the displacement of the pile per blow of the hammer. It could be in the range of millimeters, could be in the range of centimeters, etc. Now this is a fundamental or the basics of the dynamic formula from which in your syllabus you just have to study what is called as a modified Halley's formula. So this is a modified equation based on the previous equation we discussed. It's account, it accounts for various energy losses. An equation is like this. R is equal to WH eta by S plus C by 2 instead of just S. Where C is a sum of C1, C2 and C3. C1, C2 and C3 is discussed here. It's a temporary elastic compression of the dolly. C2 is an elastic compression of the pile. C3 is elastic compression of the soil. So you have dolly, you have pile, you have soil. So all these three systems will have an elastic compression while the hammer is being dropped onto the pile. Now this picture is just a rudimentary picture by which what I mean is that the modern day doesn't use these kind of hammers. They have, uh, they have a stroke mechanism. They have the anvil and the helmet kept above the pile. They have a cushion mechanism above the pile to ensure that the load is transferred evenly, etc., etc. So the dolly is is part of that system where uh, the proper mechanism kept above the pile, a helmet and an anvil is kept above between uh, the hammer and, and the pile. So dolly comes as part of that. Pile will have of course an elastic settlement because it's usually concrete and soil of course will have an elastic settlement. So all these three elastic settlements combined together gives you C and you add C1, C2, C3 to get C and divided by 2. That's a new term which comes into picture when you have the modified Halley formula. Like I said, WH eta by S plus C by 2, where C is the sum of C1, C2, C3, and C1 can be defined as 1.77 R by A, C2 is equal to 0.657 RL by A, 
C3 is 3.55 R by A. Now, R, L, A, all these terms are explained here. Length of the pile in meter is L. Area of the pile in centimeter square is A. E is a coefficient of restitutions, which will come into picture in the subsequent equation that we'll discuss. P is the weight of the pile plus anvil plus helmet. W is the ram weight. Now, E and P are two terms which comes into picture when you discuss the efficiency eta. So, eta is equal to W plus E square P by W plus P when W is greater than AP. And if W is less than AP, you have this equation. In short, you are comparing W, the weight of the ram, with the weight of the pile and will helmet system. E is the coefficient of restitution, the one thing that probably you are familiar with in your engineering mechanics classes. It's something that relates to the change in velocity or the momentum. So the coefficient of restitution E, the pile weight and will, the weight of the pile and will helmet system is P and weight of the RAM is W. So first you'll have to compare if W is greater than EP or not and choose the efficiency equation. So the efficiency is usually a decimal 0 0.7, 0 0.75, which means 70% or 75%, etc. So these are the equations which uh, which you can make use of while arriving at the ultimate capacity QU in this equation represented as a pile resistance R. Earlier in the BTEC syllabus, we had an ENR formula, engineers news records formula, a Healy's formula, a modified Healy's formula, etc. But now your syllabus limits the dynamic formula to only this, the modified Healy's formula.